dice is utterly loaded. Yeah. 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 It's a loaded dice. Five, six is next to the five. 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 The Parade of Trades activity is an exercise created by the Ling Construction Institute and the goal of the exercise is the students get a hands-on feel for the flow of work, consistent flow of work, or how an inconsistent flow of work impacts the progress of a construction project. So by rolling a single die, and the die have varied numbers on them, some of them aren't standard, they get various outputs. So they may have a die that's one through six, so they can get any output, and that die determines how much work they do as a contractor that week, and then the next contractor rolls the die. So it's a simulation, and the randomness of a die roll creates the amount of work they produce for the, that fictitious week. So another die may be just threes and fours. So they get a very consistent three or four output, and that simulates kind of the perfection job where everything goes well with all seven contractors. So by participating in the Parade of Trades, the student experiences firsthand the impact of widely variable workflow, like roll of one, frustrated, can't do much work, roll of six, I don't have enough work to do, the contractor before me didn't do enough work. Or I roll a three or a four, and a three and a four, and it's very even. And in the end, they find out that with consistent work output by seven consecutive trades, you have a better chance, from a statistical point of view, of finishing on schedule. Nice roll! Very productive. It is a very current, leading edge way of planning and it's in our undergraduate program and it matches what the practitioners in the industry are using on real life projects.